Now before we start, it's a good idea to sketch a diagram then for the problem. And I would sketch something along these kind of lines. We've got small ball A at then of mass 3m and it's moving with the speed of u in a straight line on a smooth horizontal table. And this ball A collides directly with another small ball B of mass m. And that's moving with the speed of u towards A. So we've got the motion before. Now we need to consider the motion after because it says that in the collision the coefficient of restitution between A and B is a half. So it's a good idea I think to write that between A and B. Okay. And the balls have the same radius and can be models as particles and what we've got to find then is in two parts the speed of A and the speed of B immediately after the collision. So we need to put in those speeds so I don't know well I do know actually what direction they're going to be moving in I've got an idea because this has got more momentum than B it's got a bigger mass they're going at the same speeds basically so it's going to have more momentum after the collision this is going to kind of win if you see what I mean and it's going to end up moving in that direction. If it moves in that direction then obviously B's got to move in that direction. So I'll call this VA for the final velocity of A and this one the final velocity of B. Now if you did by any chance put these the wrong way it won't matter as long as you just keep to a sign convention. Because to do this what we need to do is do an equation for the conservation of linear momentum and then look at another equation Newton's law of impact equate the two equations we'll solve them simultaneously for VA and VB. So you might like to pause the video and uh, have a go at this from here on and if you do as I say just come back in a moment or two and I'll run through the solution. Okay so welcome back if you had a go let's just see how you got on. Well first of all we need to start well first of all we need to get an equation and that will be by considering the conservation of momentum. So I'd write here by the conservation okay conservation of linear momentum. I'll just write conservation of momentum though. And because we're dealing with vector quantities we need to have a positive sense. So we'll have to the right as positive but again it's up to you just uh, as long as you stick to it. So what have we got? We've got the momentum before impact equals the momentum after impact. So momentum being mass times velocity we've got the mass here 3m multiplied by u using the positive sense so that's going to be 3mu and then plus the momentum for b so that's going to be the mass m multiplied by its velocity it's going at a speed of u in the opposite sense here so that's got a velocity of minus u. So that's the initial momentum, the total initial momentum and it's going to equal the total momentum after impact. So again starting with A you've got 3m times the velocity which is VA, it's in the positive sense plus the momentum for B so it'd be its mass times its velocity which again is in the positive sense VB. We could cancel through by M because it's in every term so let's just take that out and now if we just tidy this up we have got 3U minus another U so that's therefore going to be 2U and it equals 3VA plus VB. Now I think I'm going to put that on hold okay just leave it as it is there we've got two unknowns so we know we're going to have to have simultaneous equations. So where do we get the other equation from? Well it's by considering Newton's law of impact so we'll just say by Newton's law of impact 
Okay, Newton's law. Okay, of impact. And we should know this law. It is the coefficient of restitution E equals the relative separation speed divided by the relative speed of approach. So the relative separation speed, knowing that VB must be greater than VA, will be VB minus VA. And we divide this then by the relative speed of approach, which will be U plus U. Okay? So all we need to do now is just fill in our values for this. So we've got E we know is a half coefficient of restitution there, equals VB minus VA over 2U. And if we now multiply, say, both sides by 2U, you'd end up with U over here on the left equals VB minus VA. And we've now got another equation where we could make, say, VB or VA, it's up to you, the subject. I'm going to make VB the subject. So VB will equal U plus VA if we add VA to both sides. So we'll call this equation 2 and all I need to do now is substitute, we'll just write this in here, substitute equation 2 into equation 1. And if we do that we've got 2U equals 3 lots of VA, 3VA, plus VB, so plus U plus another VA. Tidying this up, we've got 2U, let's take away U from both sides, that leaves 2U minus U gives us U equals 3VA plus another VA, so that's 4VA. So clearly then, it follows that if we divide both sides by 4, it follows that the velocity of A equals u over 4, or a quarter u. And we can substitute this value back into equation, well, equation 2. Sub in equation 2. And if we do that, we end up with vb, therefore vb, equals u plus va, which is u over 4. And we end up with 1 and a quarter U. Or you could write it as a top heavy fraction that therefore that final velocity of B equals 5U over 4. So we have our two final velocities. The final velocity of A being U over 4 and the final velocity of B being 5U over 4. Okay.